Hydroquinone used to be very very popular as a pigmentation treatment. It's gradually growing out of favour because as we understand pigmentation conditions a little bit better, especially in the Asian context, we tend to use it less and less. And it is not the only solution to pigmentation because it only covers or treats a very narrow aspect of the production of pigmentation. It is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, so it does reduce the production of pigments. However, we do find that the results tend to not be very long lasting. There are other aspects of skin derangement that cause the production of pigments rather than just this narrow pathway that hydroquinone addresses. So for example, things like hypervascularity, breakdown of the basement membrane of the skin and aging of the skin due to sun factors and as well as natural aging of the skin. These factors are not adequately addressed by hydroquinone. We do find that a lot of hydroquinone formulations tend to come in combinations. For example, hydroquinone combined with some tretinoin as well as a little bit of mild steroids, these formulations often are very irritating to the skin, especially in this part of the world. Very often, these formulations can cause a lot of inflammation to the skin, which might actually darken pigmentation. Prolonged use of hydroquinone, especially in very, very dark skin types, sometimes predisposed to this condition called ochronosis. And that's a rather disfiguring condition that we want to avoid. There are, of course, other modalities of treatment other than hydroquinone that can help pigmentation. And I would encourage you to explore these modalities with your doctor.